let's see what we have here. I gotta find the area of this weird leaf shaped region. Starting with a square, A, B, C, D, side length is 12. Got a couple semicircles here. Cut out this weird leaf. Unfortunately, I don't know any formulas for dealing with the weird leaf, so I'll you know, break out my key strategy for problems like this. I'm gonna try to express this weird region in terms of things I know how to handle. Now let's see, what do I know how to handle? I know how to handle squares, triangles, circles, well, pieces of circles, sectors, and yeah, Harvey, yeah, yeah, I don't know how to handle very much. Thanks a lot. You're a great help. But so we're going to need to express this in terms of these pieces I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should introduce you. This is my man, Harvey. I bring my man, Harvey, in here to help me out with these geometry problems because he's, yeah, I'll admit it, he's scary good at geometry problems, but I can handle this one. All right, so I need to express this in terms of those pieces I understand, square circles and the like. I'm going to start off, well, I don't need this whole diagram. I'm just going to break off the piece I really care about right in here. Draw a small square in there. It's half, half the side length of the large one. And, well, that still doesn't help me get to the leaf right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Because I know how to handle right triangles. And, ah, check this out. Let's look at this piece right up here, this orange piece. This orange piece is what's left when I start with this sector and cut out this right triangle so I can find the area of that orange region. Check it out. And yeah, I have trouble keeping track of all the information in my head, so I'll often write, write my plan down just right, just like this. Got my orange region right there is the sector minus the triangle. All right, so I write down my plan and now let's execute. The sector right there, that's just a quarter circle whole circle, well the circle has radius 6, so the whole circle would have area 36 pi. So that quarter circle right there is just 9 pi. And then the triangle, well, that's a right triangle. Each leg has length 6, so the area of the triangle, well it's half the area of that little square. Little square has area 36. Each of those two right triangles there has area 18. Well now that's just one of these orange pieces. This other piece right there, that's going to be the same. So my leaf is just double the orange. So the leaf is two times the orange. So that's two times nine pi gives me 18 pi minus two times 18 gives us 36. And just like that we have our answer. Oh yeah, you got it a lot faster. What'd you do? Two circles minus the big square Divide by four, what? Divide by four, this guy. All right, so I take the two, two, two whole circles, subtract the big square, and then divide. Why am I dividing by four? Because there are four leaves? There's only one leaf here, Harvey. What do you, what? Oh, draw the other, ah, oh, that's brilliant. See, uh, you're, you're gonna like this. Check this out. You see, this, this is why I bring Harvey in for these geometry problems. You see, he's really good at geometry problems because, well, he can see things normal people can't see. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you abnormal. Here we go. Here's what Harvey sees. He sees this semicircle. He also sees this semicircle. Now, what do you get when you add up these four semicircles? You get two circles. Now, if you add up these four semicircles where you're going to add this region and this region, this region, and this region, and you're going to add each of the leaves twice. So when you subtract out the square, the whole big square here, you're going to subtract out these regions that you added. You're going to subtract out each leaf once, but you originally counted each leaf twice. So after you subtract it out once, you're left with just each leaf counted once. So you take the two whole circles, the four semicircles, you subtract the square, and you're left with these four leaves and you divide by four just to get one of them. So we'll write our plan down. Our plan is the leaf equals two whole circles minus the big square, and then we're gonna divide by four at the end. There's our plan. Now, each of these whole circles, well, they're gonna have radius six. It's 12 is the diameter, radius is six, the area is 36. So two times the area of each of these circles 36 pi, then we need to subtract off the area of the large square, which is 144. And of course, we're going to divide that all not by 2, but by 4. That's why it's good to write down your plan. 
don't make mistakes like this because you see your plan right there that'll help you correct them. So then we have, let's see, 2 times 36 is 72 pi divided by 4. That leaves us 18 pi minus 144 divided by 4 gives us 36. Sure enough, same answer as last time. That's really slick. This guy freaks me out sometimes. All right, on to the next problem. Once again, we have this oddly shaped region. What do you see there, Harv? Rectangle plus a sector minus a triangle, just like that. This guy's terrifying. All right, where do we see? Well, we got a square. Center of the square is on the circle. Radius of the circle is 1. Side length of the square is 1. And well, I can see the rectangle. See the rectangle? We can draw the rectangle in right here by drawing this side. And, well, we already have one dimension of the rectangle, if we can find this length right here, which I have no idea what it is. Hopefully we'll figure that out later. But at least, well, I can see the rectangle, but now I have this weird piece out here. So this weird piece has a name. We call this weird piece out here a circular segment. Now, what, where do you get a circular segment? Well, you start with a sector. You chop off a triangle. That's right. So if we look at this right here, we start with this sector and then we subtract off this triangle, we're left with this region out here. And now we have a plan. We have a plan for this weird area. It's the rectangle plus the sector minus the triangle. All right, now to execute our plan. Well, we have one side length of the rectangle, but I don't know what this is. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's skip the rectangle for a minute. Let's move on to the triangle. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, so the triangle, well, we have a side length of the triangle as well, and well, these are radii. These are each one as well. So this is one, this is one, this is one. This is an equilateral triangle. We know how to handle an equilateral triangle. This side length is one, and well, this right here, well, it's going to cut the equilateral triangle in half here. This is a half, this is a half, and now, well, this up here is one. So we could use the Pythagorean theorem. Well, we can see the 30, 60, 90 triangles right there. We can see that the height of our triangle is the square root of 3 over 2. And now, well, I still need this piece right here for my rectangle. But if I look at this segment right there, this segment has length 1. And I know that this piece right there is a half, because A is the center of our square. So here to here is half the side length of the square. That's a half. That means this piece in here is also a half. And now I know what this length is as well. So I can handle the rectangle. The rectangle is 1, that's this dimension, and this dimension here is the square root of 3 over 2 minus a half. Square root of 3 over 2 minus 1 half. Then we need to add in the sector. Well, this is an equilateral triangle, so this angle is 60 degrees, whole circle is 360. This sector is 1 sixth of the whole circle. Whole circle has area pi, 1 sixth of that is pi over 6. And then finally, we have to subtract the triangle. Base is 1. Height is square root of 3 over 2. 1 half base times the height gives us square root of 3 over 4. Now we do a little simplification. We have half the square root of 3 minus quarter of the square root of 3. That leaves us with still a quarter of the square root of 3. And we have our plus pi over 6 still. And then the minus 1 half from right there. And we have our answer. And right there, there's our key, the key step here in all of these weird area problems is express that weird area in terms of pieces you understand. Yes, Harvey, I don't understand very much, but I do understand this.